look at this. There's no detail whatsoever down this hallway. And look, I saw someone in the minimap. Like, like, tell me you guys saw that dude. Tell me you actually saw that dude on the left. I didn't even see him. I just can't see anyone on the inside. Yo, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here. We're going to be talking about Hacienda Twilight today. This is the new uh, multiplayer map, the weather variant of the map Hacienda that they added to Black Ops 4 for free for everyone with update 1.19 just the other day. And I am not a fan of this map in its current state. In its current state, this is, I think this is the first map in Black Ops 4 that I might just back out of the lobby if it pops up into the up next. It's that bad. It's not that Hacienda is a bad map, but this Twilight version of it, uh, the the inside, you can't see anything whatsoever. And I know a lot of people weren't a, too big of a fan on Arsenal Sandstorm because you couldn't see. I didn't have a problem with Arsenal Sandstorm. This map I actually have a problem with. Arsenal Sandstorm, I liked. It kind of changed the way that you played the game. Uh, there was a decrease in the visibility with the sand in the uh well i guess it's just the sand outside of the map but you could still see people uh somewhat down the map it wasn't like you couldn't see anything just kind of forced you to play a little bit more close quarters combat and use that sand and the low visibility to your advantage in the inside of the map there really wasn't any change with the sand you could still see uh just as you could with the normal arsenal in Hacienda Twilight, it's almost like the NVR scope is necessary. So the out when you first load in the map and you see the outside, it actually looks really, really good. And there's no problem with the outside areas of the map. The lighting looks great. You can see people easily. It's once you get to the inside of the map, that middle courtyard with the hallways, you can't see literally anything. More. You can't even see people right in front of you. It's just so dark. There's no lighting whatsoever in the inside of the hallways. And there's a bunch of like chandeliers on the ceilings and little lights shining at the walls that, that they're, none of them are on. And I feel like if Charak doesn't update to the map and just turns those lights on, even if it's just like a little dim or just to brighten up the inside of the map a little bit, I seen a twilight wouldn't have a problem, but in its current state, this thing is like you can't see anything on the inside of the map. You get into a gunfight with the guy right next to you with the contrast between the darkness of the inside of the map and your muzzle flares. Even if the guy's next to you or down the middle of the map, you easily lose your target. I find myself losing uh, my target and losing gunfights after the first couple shots because I lose my target. I feel like I just said lose my target so many times. When you're getting into a gunfight, trying to distract people, you have to really rely on on the name that pops above their head and kind of just spray and pray and track them via that because you can't eat, you can't see anyone especially if they have a normal outfit on even people who have like that glowy cash money outfit or glowing dark matter on the guns it's still really really hard to see them and i'm not over exaggerating this it's so hard when you're playing with the proper you know brightness and gamma settings it also i find it hard when you're shooting on the water side of the map on the inside hallway with the 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 middle of the hallway there's like light that leaks through the ceiling and i find it hard to just get in gunfights and track people shooting through that because of the contrast between the darkness on the other side of the hallway and then the light in the middle and then you have the darkness in front of you again and then you have the muzzle flashes happening it's just super hard to see people and like I said earlier, you're always trying to track people by their nameplate that pops above their head. When another nameplate pops up and you're shooting two enemies at once or there's another guy down the hallway, you can just that gunfight can buy for the most part. I found myself both times in the couple games I've played this map, um, try to track someone, another nameplate pops up and then you just, it's like your aim assist goes off. <laughs> you can't see what anyone is. So um, I, I think I've said pretty much everything that i need to say about Ossie in the twilight the outside of the map is really good the inside just is super dark you can't see anything what's i mean you can see stuff but it's so hard to get in a gunfight much worse than arsenal sandstorm if you think arsenal sandstorm was bad again i don't really have a problem with arsenal sandstorm but i want to hear your comments on Ossie in the twilight do you actually like the map or do you do you think it's worse than Arsenal Sandstorm? Because in my opinion, I do. So, you know, if you do like the map, let me know down below in the comments. You can always use the NVIR scope or just stick to the outside of the maps. Again, this is first reaction. So maybe the intention with this map is to 
draw people out from fighting in the inside corridors and maybe just stick into the outside of the map and just flank around the whole time maybe that's the way you have to play this map and maybe if i start playing with that i'll like it but i want to get my first reaction to this because i haven't felt so much disdain for a map or something added to black ops 4 ever this much before like this map i don't like at all and i want to close this video out with a cut down full length gameplay like a live gameplay on Ossie the twilight so i can kind of walk through and guide you through uh just the map and kind of like talk through my thoughts going into gunfights in the dark and you're kind of just live reacting to the map and the way it forces you to play so stay tuned we're gonna cut to that right now and it's gonna be enjoyable i want to show you again what this map kind of looks like actually kind of go through kind of like live react and commentate the gameplay just to like give you an idea uh, of what this this map is if you, if you don't have black ops 4 just whatever you know because again arsenal stands for my like this map somehow so again first game i'm playing i'm going through here i'm like wow look at this this looks actually kind of nice it's like dark out it's kind of light out the outside looks good uh, again, this is this gameplay is gonna be kind of like half serious half kind of like walking around the map and trying to show you stuff Like go like all around the outside map looks kind of cool, right? Uh, you look in there. It looks looks a little dark, but not too dark uh, Again, we're just gonna wrap around the whole map here. Uh, we can get inside here. You can see it starts to get Super dark like super dark. You see this guy right here. I'm not gonna shoot at him We'll run into the middle of the map here so you can kind of see some gunfights uh Again, just look, look inside here. God, guys, there. Look inside. You can't see anything because we're getting flashed. Ah, uh, this guy. Oh, I just like hit fired one shot someone across the map. All right, we got a guy here trying to take you out. So again, we're we're back inside here, uh, trying to look around the corners. I mean, you look down the hallway. You can barely see see anyone. I can't even see that guy except for his freaking oh Jesus, his freaking name tag, bro. It's just that guy uh like it's so hard to see people when they're looking across like this open area of light in the middle into some more darkness across the map it's just bad and i don't know why like they have chandeliers you can see them all on the roof of the hallway here there's chandeliers god the rampage so or what's the rampart so good there's chandeliers on like they could at least not die some beast Game. I can't see this guy spray spraying and praying. That's what you got to do for half this map look up here Like see this, this fire away. Oh, yeah, another thing they added is there's a whole nother uh, Little little uh, hallway right here. I don't know if I mentioned the beginning of the video, but uh oh, God damn it. There's a whole hallway here. You can just run across which is kind of cool that they add I don't know if they added it for the regular map as well which is for a twilight, but you can jump up in here and get in this way do a little flinker Rooney I can't even see this dude because it's so dark. It's so hard to track people. Like, especially when, when more than one name pops up and they start crossing over other different, like, the different players. It's so hard to track and see people. Of course, you can always use NVIR scope. Um, but again, all the points I said earlier are super hard. So, like, why don't they just try and turn on these candles here? Turn on these lights. They got lights against these walls. Which looks like they're very dimly on. Practical light here, like turn all these lights on so you can at least see in the inside, see around this whole inside area. Because again, the outside is perfectly fine. It's just when you get into gunfights in this middle here on the inside. I saw someone in the mid map. Like, like, tell me you guys saw that dude. Tell me you actually saw that dude on the left. I didn't even see him. I was looking at down the uh, the the people down the hallway. I saw that guy's name tag pop up for a split second. Oh, I'm gonna switch weapons actually, uh, and see if we can actually run around and kind of rush. And see if that play style helps at all. Kind of like an Arsenal Sandstorm. I can't even see the dude, dude. I can't. I, I can't. I'm like just like ranting and repeating the same stuff over and over again. Outside, yo, I see that dude. I kill them, no problem. Use this uh, Spectre Blade. Or Shadow Blade. Once the smoke comes up. Since it would be kind of hard for people to see me. What? Is there a guy there? Did I, who did I get shot by? I didn't even see anyone who shoot me. <laughs> oh, this makes no sense. When you can't see, whip out the NVR scope. Honestly, I have used the NVR scope, so uh, hopefully this will make this map somewhat playable. Um. Oh, oh my God, there's so much. Wow, there's a lot of noise in that scope. 
That threw me off for a second. Uh, that's not mine. There's that guy. God, you can't even see anything in the NVRR scope looking down the hall. It's just, I mean, you can see the people, but the background is just pitch black. Jesus. Use this knife to my advantage so this guy can't see me. How, cuz? You really just teabag me? Uh, I know another strategy people have been trying is trying to crank the brightness up in game, like all the way up to 100%. So, like, uh, graphics, crank that up to 100. I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy, but people may be able to see people easier with that. Uh, again, you'd have to do that every single game. But again, looking down this, this is just, you can't even, you can't even, okay, there's a guy. I kind of choked that. Look at this. There's no detail whatsoever down this hallway unless you see a person, which I see there. No detail except for the fire flames. That's crazy, bro. Absolutely crazy. Let me see if I can actually get a little streak going here. Can't see anything. Oh, I got shot in the back. And we lost. All right, so yeah. That wasn't much of an actual gameplay. You actually you saw the actual gameplay at the beginning of the video. It was more of a kind of a just walk through, live walk through the map, trying to get some kills uh, and just show you the problems that I have with the Aussie and the Twilight. Again, turn, 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 turn the lights on inside. Turn all those ceiling lights, chandeliers, turn them all on inside. And I think the problem of seeing inside would not be a problem. So that's it for this video. A little bit of a different one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, get subscribed, hit the bell notification. You know all the stuff that you do on YouTube nowadays. Links down below in the description for 10% off control freaks as well as cool Indian apparel. You also have my Amazon a social link down there if you want to help support the channel by shopping through that link. But again, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Sergio I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.